All right, I got Trevor Lawrence, AKA Sunshine. You're talking about the playoffs, if we would have made it. Is there a disappointing, is that disappointing to you, not being able to make it this year? Obviously, I mean, you look at what we were able to do the year before, mm -hmm. and obviously when you have success, the expectations are really high, not even from the outside, but from within, you know, the yeah. organization, the team, you know, we expected to have a shot to, to contend for a Super Bowl and make a deep yeah. playoff run, and because yeah. um, our team got better, you know, we added some new guys in the off season, um, and we just weren't able to do that. You know, we, so we halfway through the year we were in a great spot, yeah. and we just weren't able to finish. You know, we weren't playing our best ball at the end of the season, and that's that's what it takes to to be a playoff team to contend for Super Bowls. You got to start playing your best ball at the end of the year, yeah. and for us. We didn't do that, so um, you know we didn't really deserve to get in, and you know we're gonna get our next our opportunity next year, and we're excited for that. Yeah. What do you think? What do you think the reason or the cause was to y'all not playing the best ball towards the end of the year? I think you know we didn't handle adversity well. There were some games where um, we were kind of up and down all season long. We had a nice little run where we won five straight in the middle of the year. Then after that, we had a couple injuries to some key guys. You know, I, I had a bunch of little injuries kind of all year, which was unfortunate. And then obviously Christian going down in that Monday night game, we were eight and three at that point. He went down, missed the rest of the year. Zay was hurt for, you know, half the season. So we never had all of our guys in the field at the same time. And the thing about this league, as you know, that's never an excuse, you know, you're still expected to perform and find a way to win. And for whatever reason, you know, we, we, we weren't able to do that this year. And, um, but that, it puts some pressure on us this off season to get better, to improve. I think for our young guys and guys that maybe aren't starters to, say, hey, this league, like it, when my opportunity comes, I need to be ready because you look at last year, we had a lot of guys go down and guys had to step up and did a good job, but we really the team counts on them. So I think it, it gives us some more of an understanding of what we need to get better at this offseason. Yeah. All right, offseason, contract talk. Talk to me about possibly, or you are, talk to me about being for the, with the Jacks even longer, getting your bread, getting your due, being on a team like Jacksonville that historically hasn't been a great you know organization you get there you change it with Doug Peterson talk about the contract extension yeah obviously that's a big you know talking point this offseason yeah. not for me but kind of for everybody else yeah. so I'm not too concerned with it I would of course I'd love to get a deal done at some point you yeah. know we all have dreams and goals of being paid well and um, having success in, in this league and, and, and getting paid for it so yeah. I would be lying if I said I didn't. I didn't want that, but and I do. But I, it's all going to happen at the right time, you know. Whether that's this off season, next off season, uh, don't have the answer to that right now. But of course, I want that. But honestly, it doesn't change my job. That's what I've said the whole time. Is I have the same job to do whether I get the extension this year, or next year, or whenever. I yeah. still am, expe am expected to to play well, to put us in a position to go win a Super Bowl, and that's yeah. my goal. And I'd love to be in Jacksonville for as long as possible. That's home for us now. Uh, we've built a, you know, we built a community, and, and obviously, I feel like we're in a great spot as a team, and we're we're heading in the right direction, and we just need to keep taking the steps. All right, so obviously we're in Vegas. We got the Chiefs, we got the Niners. I need no, not prediction first. Let's talk about Brock Purdy and like his story. We had Deion Sanders come on here and say Brock Purdy is the most interesting story in the last two decades of the NFL. Being a colleague, being a quarterback in the league, how has it been just seeing what he has been doing as as a late round draft pick? It's interesting, you know. I think we're the same class coming out of high school. Okay. Uh, he was the draft class right behind me, but so we've kind of been when he was at Iowa State and I was at Clemson. I kind of kept track with him, and I'm sure the same. Like, and, and also we were in the same agency at one point, so I met yeah. him, and I really like him. He's a great guy. So yeah. we kind of hit it off, and. Um, anyway, so it is a crazy story, and I think it's interesting how, as well as he's played, every opportunity he's had. I mean, it's it's kind of I'd love to see his numbers compared to other people. It's probably one of the best starts to a career. Yeah. And top, it's got to be top ten, top twenty of all time quarterbacks. So, and he still gets a lot of a lot of hate for it, which I think is interesting. Obviously, he's on a good team, but yeah. I don't know what else you can ask of the guy. Right, he he right, plays right. well. He wins. He makes plays in big moments right. um so it's been cool i think f for him like his character and the person he is it's cool to see guys like that be successful because I, I think he handles it the right way okay patrick mahomes the guy he's going up against a lot of people have him in the conversation amongst the greats like tom brady peyton manning already how is it going against 
Patrick Mahomes. Like when you play, when you have a game against the Chiefs, are you like, oh, got Pat this week? If if we score, he gonna score. I gotta come back. Like, how do you think about that? I know how I think about a game going against a DB. How I'm game planning him. Obviously, you're not game planning Patrick Mahomes. Yeah. But is it like we got a tough one this week? Because I know the quarterback on the other side is gonna do what he has to do. Yeah, your your preparation or any of that doesn't change yeah. based on who you're playing. But you do you do have an idea of your margin for error is definitely smaller, you know, and you have to take advantage of opportunities to score yeah. and you can't put your defense in bad spots because yeah. Pat and the Chiefs are going to take advantage of it. And then at the end of the game, they're so good at just finding a way to win. You know, yeah. I feel like so many of their games are close and they might not play great in the first half. And then the second half, they just make all the plays at the end of the game to win it. So, you know, they're going to be great situationally. So you got to be really sharp. You got to play smart football and you got to score when you get your opportunities and haven't been able to do that good enough to first three times I've played him. So looking forward to the next opportunity when I get to play him, you know, hopefully getting his number that week. Who do you have winning? I need the prediction now. I need it. Can you give yeah, me I one? I, no, I, I know hope no one care. takes this too serious, but I think I would take San Fran. You know, okay. But I would not be surprised either way, but I'd take, I'd take San Fran. All right. I know you're a big golf guy. Give me your dream foursome. Man, uh, yeah, that like is this. a good question. I like this. I mean, so I got a chance to, not a real round, but to play like a par three course with John Daly, which ah. was sick. So I would honestly add him to it if I didn't do that because he's just a super interesting character. <laughs> yeah. That was fun. I mean, Tiger would have to be up there. Um, trying to think of who else. Tiger uh, and Michael Jordan would be sick. Okay. Might lose some money, though. Oh, if I end up yeah. <laughs> um, obviously myself, a fourth. I'm trying to think of who else is like a who else is like super into golf that's not a professional golfer. Oh, uh, man, you know I think I think I think it would be fun to play with. Who's, who's who I'm thinking of on the on the tour that? Um, I mean, like Bubba Watson got a chance to meet him. Like okay. he's like, he's got a funky game. It'd be fun to play with him. Um, so I got I played with Jim Furyk the other week and that okay. was awesome. That was sweet. How, how did his swing look in? He was, he's dealing with, he was getting over a little bit of a back issue, so he's st just starting to play again, but he still looked great. He's okay. like, you think he's not playing good and he's parring every Yeah, hole. right, it's right, like, right. It's just crazy yeah. how good those guys are. They don't make mistakes, but no, nah, it's uh, that would be a fun group, though. That's dope, that's dope. Talk to us about your partnership with Gatorade, man. I'm here with Gatorade. They just launched Gatorade ID. You okay. know, it's a, it's a membership platform where you can join and create your custom bottle, you know, so you can put your name on it, whatever design you want. Whatever colors you want to see, he's got the purple here. I, the purple I like joint. that one. That's pretty sweet. Um, but yeah, you can join. Anybody can join. Gatorade.com, um, and you can make your own bottle. It's it's pretty sick. Clemson, last thing. How do we get them back on the map? Last year looked very uncharacteristic. Yeah, they'll they'll be back. I got a lot of faith in Coach Sweeney. I think he does things the right way. Um, but we got some work to do. You know, we went from being in the conversation, probably six years straight of yeah. being contenders, potential national champions all that stuff and now we're not on the radar it might be good for us though put a yeah. little chip on our shoulders so i got a lot of faith in coach Sweeney. that's my guy and the guys there um they're gonna get it done but we'll see how this year we gotta take a take a step in the right direction for sure trevor lawrence i gotta get in that for some widow we gotta play golf soon i appreciate your time yes, sir. Bro.